Hey, what's up guys? And in this video, I'll actually be showing you how to make Zuko uh, from uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, I had a lot of fun making a bunch of characters with this little pre-character customization uh, demo that I launched. Really amazing stuff. Check it out. Um, and I really hope you enjoy the video. Please be like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Uh, it was actually not too difficult to make this one, especially with the in-depth customization um, that uh, this game has which is great go straight into detailed so body i mean i uh, basically minus 40 there 50 20 176 second one 10 and 66 leave the rest here is the upper body one lower body one to be honest this is not too important i think most people will tweak this anyway um so let's actually go to the more important stuff we've got head the base head i went for 18. um not really too much of a reason why it was just a, the head that i thought would be the easiest one to sculpture zuko out of um and we'll get into like the little i mean anime like angular chin and um yeah obviously the scar and everything skin skin color um i did take 11. also one of the more clean ones uh, I was between 3 and 11. I think the other ones are a little bit too pigmented or they've got like wrinkles and stuff. Went for 11, 59, and then I mean, this can. I don't really think you even notice it to be honest. So, right? You can tweak that yourself if you want. Didn't really do anything with the brows. You can barely see them. I did pick the, a certain one out. I'll show you that uh, when we get to that point. Um, because obviously your hair does move around in slight and you can see this bit, but didn't really fuck with ears, cheeks, mouth, all that stuff. The jaw and the chin, however, we did, of course, because we want that anime-like Zuko chin. Um, 65 on the chin height, minus 85 on the width, 100% sharpness, of course. Okay, let's actually get into the body hair. I went with 30. Now, as you know, Zuko's like when he just cuts off his hair. Sorry, maybe a little bit nerdy on this, but when he just cuts his hair off, he looks more like this, right? Um, but I guess we all know more like this. Now, yeah, sure. Usually, like right now, it's parted on the right. It was parted on the left and right. Um, but as you can see, there's not really a hairstyle that has that. So we just, uh, we just. We just went with it, but I guess if you do want to maybe feel a little bit like you can see more of the character as well, you go with 18. Um, 194, as long as it's black, really doesn't matter too much. No sheen either to keep it more math black. So, uh, eyebrows we did go with five because of this angular bit there. Like I said before, the, obviously, the, 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 the scar uh, takes up one of his eyebrows pretty much, and then the other one is visible, but. So I don't have a, a, a gap or my hair parting there. Eh, go with whatever really, right? But anyways, one with that. Thickness 90 or 100 doesn't really matter too much. Um, and obviously black. Facial hair, none. Body hair, none. Right? Okay, now we get to the interesting part. The eyes. I actually changed the eyes. Uh to these colors. I'm gonna go two crazy one, 101, 137, 120, 64, and 107. Pause the video if you want. Minus 20 iris size. You can make it bigger. I like it this way. Uh, I think it looks a little bit closer to what he looks like in um, in the show as well. Zuko like usually fl like flashes between brown, yellowish eyes. Uh, eyelashes, nothing special. Eyeshadow. I mean, too, too crazy. Eyeliner, I did tweak. <clears throat> I went with seven, actually, which is funny. Hey, he's, a, he's a guy. Why are you using eyeliner? Well, uh, in the anime, usually the characters have this little black edge around their eyes. That's just how it's animated. This reflects that more. You can just go with that as well. You can put it whatever you want. But this is kind of how uh, in the anime it looks at times as well. So that's why I went with that little bit of extra eyeliner there. Uh, you can't see it here. Um, it's not even that big of a deal. But anyways, cut 10, opacity 100, and then sheen 35.
freckles, uh, cheek, lips, pretty much all the time. And now we get to the interesting part. Obviously, these are just two tattoos, uh, tattoos, but over one another. Uh, just go to body tattoos. And then uh, we will go to the body tattoo style, 64 times two, right? On the first and the second one, you use 64. Now, maybe pause the video or whatever if you need to. Number 17. <coughs> Um, it doesn't matter too much on the first one because it will be um, overlapped by the second one coming over it. Uh, but 57, 17, 70, 15, 16, 8. Now, might be a little bit confusing um, to, you know, all these. But basically to get this part right over the eye, uh, over the eyebrow and a little bit under the eye as well. As you can see, if it, let's say I put it down like four three nudges whatever it, it already makes a very big difference um so yeah it's actually this this you kind of need to follow a little bit obviously you could tweak it if you think that you know it it, it looks a lot better uh, in a different way uh, if that's the case then yeah fair enough uh, i can definitely agree with you um it was really difficult to get this in if you look at the other tattoos as well like i was thinking of maybe trying this one it wasn't so great gonna be honest going to be honest um because obviously it's a bit weird that it's more for uh, i mean oval shape than you know someone that goes over the eye okay for the second eye we do actually go with red um now it's it's a pretty dark red or a pretty yeah so we just uh, we do actually make sure the opacity is uh, set to a different tone um intensity as well um yet again make a screenshot pause video whatever um, 49, 24, 82, 24, 27, 24. So, anyways, pretty straightforward. It just consists of a couple of tweaks uh, around the chin, obviously the eyes, some eyeliner, and the tattoos, and then you pretty much get your own little Zuko. Um, anyways, if this did help you out or you just like the way this character looks, then uh, please be sure to... Uh, like and subscribe and uh, hopefully you have a great day.